This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday the 19th. I'm James Spann. Winter weather woes again tomorrow across parts of the Deep South. A uh, lot to talk about, so let's just go right in there. Uh, let's look at some of the images coming around the uh, state today. This is first off from the Jasper Sky Cam. That pretty much speaks volumes. A frozen water fountain there in the square in downtown Jasper. Check out that one. That's at uh, the Purple Onion on Green Springs in Birmingham. And look at some of the ice at Baines Gap over in East Alabama on this very cold winter day. Trough over, over the east. That delivered the cold air for most of the coldest of the season. And as expected, we're not even close to freezing in most locations today. It's only 23 at Fort Payne and Huntsville at mid-afternoon. Uh, keep in mind, we ought to be in the upper 50s. Tuscaloosa, the warm spot, they hit 33. That's uh, a little oasis of warmth. And that in itself is not very warm. Yeah, Chicago up north at 8 below this morning at O'Hare. That's a record, and uh, that's just tough. And with a storm system coming in, you know that's going to pose some problems. And sure enough, we have a uh, winter storm warning for three counties in northeast Alabama, Madison, Jackson, and DeKalb. That's where ice accumulation could be significant. Uh, late tomorrow and tomorrow night, that includes Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, Mentone, Collinsville. Uh, there is a winter weather advisory for the rest of North Alabama from Cullman North, the county served by the Weather Service in Huntsville. Uh, the Weather Service in Birmingham not opting for any advisories at this point, and I don't have it on that graphic, but the Weather Ser Service over in Atlanta has posted a winter storm warning for much of North Georgia and a winter weather advisory down into Atlanta. Uh, this is the chance of ice accumulation from 6 o'clock local time tomorrow until 6 o'clock local time Saturday. Some really high percentages north of the state over Tennessee and Kentucky where they really don't need that. But again, clearly, parts of North Alabama and North Georgia could see some significant icing. Uh, let's go in there and take a look. Model fans, this is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Trough sweeping off the coast down below that. Uh, the onset of the precipitation seems to be a little slower on this run. Uh, really, at, at midday, it's still got the wintry mix west of the state over around Memphis. But some of that could creep into northwest Alabama during the uh, uh, late morning hours. And the freeze line is, you can see that red line is up to the north of Birmingham. Now, this is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And uh, the freeze line runs uh, down to Fayette and Jasper and then up north. It's not going to look exactly like that. And keep in mind, when precipitation begins, we'll have evaporative cooling, and those numbers will come down a good bit. And clearly, there's a chance of this messy, wintry mix, uh, initially probably snow, then a change over to sleet and freezing rain as the cold air gets shallow. This is midnight Saturday night. The, the GFS has a lot of this stuff Pretty far north, really north of Cullman, north of U.S. 278, up in the uh, far northern part of the state, mainly along and north of the Tennessee River. And then Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, we're still seeing the chance of freezing rain over Jackson and DeKalb counties. And again, that's the concern, a long-duration freezing rain event for Jackson and DeKalb counties. Now, Cherokee and Etowah, it's going to be a close call. Uh, they're right on the dividing line. And then this is noon Saturday, and we're just in rain over North Alabama with the uh, wintry mess on to the east. Uh, our ongoing forecast just isn't changing much. This is the public forecast we're using. We've got the greatest chance of wintry precipitation and icy travel tomorrow and tomorrow night north of a line from near Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden and then Piedmont and uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston. Uh, we don't expect any uh, issues from wintry travel. It's a close call for Anniston, but again, from Gadsden North, there could be problems. We think the greatest ice accumulation over the northeastern corner of the state, maybe up to uh, two-tenths, maybe a quarter inch of ice. That could be enough to bring down some tree limbs and cause some scattered power outages, especially over Jackson and DeKalb counties. That's where the winter storm warning is in effect. But again, if you're in Cherokee, uh, you might have a significant bit of ice as well. So uh, we'll be watching radar trends very carefully with this thing. Uh, go to Sunday, got a cold front coming in. This run not quite as bullish on uh, on the rain Sunday, but clearly we'll have a chance of at least showers, maybe Sunday morning, and uh, maybe even some thunder. We'll go to Monday, and again, we've got this next impulse coming in, and the models are all over the board on this. And you can see this wintry mix uh, west of the state, Jackson, Mississippi, Monroe, Louisiana, 
uh, Tyler Longview, Texas in this mess. Uh, but this run wants to shun it down to the south. This is midnight Monday night, and it just kind of fades away and goes to the south. And that can indeed be the case. It's just too early to call. Uh, we need to get through this event tomorrow and tomorrow night, then we can focus on that. But this run suggesting no problems for us Monday morning. We have seen other runs that do suggest problems, and it could shift again. We just don't know at this point. Something to watch. And then Tuesday of next week, we are just cool and dry. Uh, the high will be in the 40s. This is Wednesday. Evidence of a little moisture trying to back in here from the east. Uh, for now, we're leaving the forecast dry, and this is Thursday of next week, the uh, week from today. That's a 1045 high pushing down from the north. We'll keep an eye on that. And then this is the following day, Friday the 27th. Uh, earlier runs have suggested a snowstorm here. This run says nothing, and that's why it's called the land of voodoo. We'll just watch for trends, and there's not good consistency out here. This is uh, the end of the forecast on Sunday, March 1st. Uh, broad troughing is out in the western states, and it looks like uh, finally they'll start to cool down. They've had a very mild winter so far. Uh, but again, look at this chart. Now, this is coming from CPC. This is uh, for the period February 25th through March 1st, still the east well below average. But there's hope on the ensembles. You can see the highs try and come back up to 60 as we start the month of March. And if that's the case, that would feel pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.